Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette, and we are in Psalm chapter 87. <coughs> Psalm chapter 87, beginning in verse 1. A little dark in here today. I think it's a little overcast in Phoenix. Verse 1, his, his foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. Selah. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to those who know me. Behold, O Philistia and Tyre and with Ethiopia, this one was born there. <clears throat> and of Zion it will be said, this one and that one were born in her. And the Most High himself shall establish her. The Lord will record when he registers the peoples, this one was born there. Selah. Both the singers and the players on instruments say, all my springs are in you. <clears throat> Short psalm, simple psalm, <clears throat> yet very profound. God's word is filled with profound nuggets of truth. His foundation, verse 1, is in the holy mountains. The Lord loves the gates of Zion. He's talking about Jerusalem. He loves where Jerusalem is. He loves that it. it's a city. Remember, it's the place where he, his temple is built, where the ark of his covenant was. This is the presence of God, the glory of God. God fills this place with his presence, and it's precious. Now, I won't, don't want to demean or take away from Jerusalem one fraction. <clears throat> but what I want to do is establish the truth that you and I, as born-again believers, if you are the Lord's, His foundation is in you. The Lord loves the gates of you. More than anything else He's ever created, God loves the dwelling places of his people. Verse 3, glorious things are spoken about you, you city of God. But pastor, what are you talking about? I mean, <clears throat> what are you trying to say? I'm saying that when you committed your life to him, when you became born again through the miracle of regeneration, Big word. <clears throat> Look it up if you don't know what it means. When you became born again by that miracle, when God made you his own son or his own daughter, <clears throat> he established within you a foundation, a root, a seed that should not fail. Yes, I know people who have failed. But that is not his intention. He loves you. He loves <coughs> when you open, <coughs> excuse me, your gates, your heart, your hands, your mouth, fill it with praise. He loves you as his specific creation, endued with his spirit above every other thing. You are his crowning achievement. Where are glorious things spoken of you? In his throne. In his throne. Yes. You might see yourself in a very rough situation, in a tough predicament. You might see yourself as less than, but glorious things are spoken of you when God the Father looks at you and he says, This one is precious to me. Protect her. Guard him. This one is mine. Hold him. Keep their foot from stumbling. As he gives his angelic host words, commands to guard you and protect you. This one is mine, says the Lord. This one has value before me, says the Lord. 
they're mine. Hold them. They're my habitation. My foundation is in them. If I lose them, I lose name. If I lose them, I lose face. If I lose them, I lose authority. If I lose them, I lose something so precious. Hold them. And he speaks about you. Precious and amazing things. Pray with me. Father, let these words today penetrate hearts and lives to believe, to feel, to know that your design for man is that man would be filled with your presence and become that shining star, that shining achievement you've designed them to be. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.